In 2017, the Rangers made a trade that received the 7th overall pick in the 2017 NHL Draft. The Rangers sent over Derek Stepan and Antti Ranta, and the Rangers got the 7th overall pick and Tony D'Angelo. Leas Anderson was taken 7th overall by the New York Rangers. He just turned 21 years old and now is currently back in Sweden. He has asked for a trade from the New York Rangers. Let's talk about it. Let's just get right into it. Leas Anderson is 21 years old and he has no patience. And quite frankly, neither has the Rangers organization. Bringing him and Heedle up at the end of the 17-18 season was a good idea. But in my opinion, they should have stayed in Hartford in the 18-19 season, which was last year. Yeah, Heedle played solid last season. He had a really few bright spots in his games, and he's having even more now. But Leas Anderson last season did not look good at all. Did the Rangers rush Leas Anderson's development? Yeah, they probably did. Is his development over? Absolutely not. The guy has years left to develop his game and to possibly be the player that he wants to be in Hartford, but he just has no patience and doesn't want to do it. With three goals and six assists in 66 NHL games spanning over those three seasons, he's asking for a trade from the Rangers. Wh why? I know eight years of development sounds like a lot. But if you look at Ryan Strom, he had a 50-point season in 14-15. He hasn't touched that total since then, and now playing with a very skilled player in Artemi Panarin, he's going to absolutely blow that 50-point season. Meanwhile, everybody before last season was calling him a bust. Sometimes it takes players a certain style, a certain kind of player to play with to really tap into your true potential. And in my opinion, Leas Anderson is just not waiting to possibly find that right guy for him. Does he expect to just play in the top six because he was drafted seventh overall? Three years later, you're still not in the top six? Leas, it's a privilege to play in the NHL. And if your organization, an original six organization, is telling you that you have to go down to Hartford and improve on your game and find what's wrong and develop a little more, then you do it. You don't ask for a trade. And it's not like he deserves to be here right now. It's not like we're talking about Philip Heedle, who has been playing good on the Rangers, and then sending him down to Hartford. It's not, it's not like that. Heedle is obviously improving his game. He's gotten bigger. He's gotten stronger. He's gotten faster. Leas Anderson hasn't done any of that right now. His skating, to me, looks like it has not even been close to altered since they drafted him in 2017. I might have compared Strom to Anderson, and that was probably a little unfair. So now I'll take to Philip Heedle. Philip Heedle was cut right out of training camp this season. I went to opening night game. He was not there. He was not in the lineup. He was in Hartford. What did he do? He worked his ass off. He took what Chris Knobloch told him, the coach in Hartford, who, by the way, is the head coach for the All-Star team in the Atlanta division in the AHL. He got better. He started scoring more. He started playing better hockey down there in Hartford. And Leas Anderson is doing the complete opposite. He's probably sitting there moaning. I mean, honestly, I have no idea what he's doing down there. But the stats say that he's not performing, and to me, it just seems like he's not trying and developing or trying to get better at his development. I think Philip Heedle has the worth ethic that every fan thinks Leas Anderson has. I don't think it's there. Sure, being the extra guy at practice when the whole team is off, and you're out there with Heedle and Fox, it's Leas Anderson, Fox, Heedle, that doesn't really show the coaches that you're really developing your game off the ice. Sure, on the ice, you're doing great. But to me, it's all about off the ice. It's in the gym. It's how you're working out. It's what you're doing to get better off the ice is what really probably matters in an organization's eyes because I know it would matter in my eyes. I think any player who thinks it should just be handed to them and not worked for is just completely selfish and not team first. If Anderson was really team first and wanted to work on his own ability, then he should have went down in Hartford and owned it and worked on it. I have no idea what the Rangers are going to do with him. They're probably going to trade him, but as of right now, Julius Honka from the Dallas Stars is in the same kind of situation. We all know about Jesse Puyarvi in this situation and from Edmonton. So in my opinion, I have no idea what you could do with him right now. In my opinion, I don't see him getting traded for a lot of value one for one. You're going to have to probably package him with someone and then hopefully that prospect or player you bring back, it'll be up to that caliber that Leas Anderson was supposed to be in your eyes. It's a tough situation when a young kid doesn't want to be on your team and you took him with such a high draft pick. He has this year and next year. He's being currently suspended without pay. He's in Sweden right now, so he's not even playing hockey probably. He might sign with the Swedish team, but yet again, he will be suspended without pay from the Rangers, and he'll still be on contract 
for the Rangers next season too. So this thing could literally last more than a year right now. And I don't know if the Rangers want to do that right at the end of the rebuild. Because if you freaking remember, he was the 7th overall pick. He was a big piece of that rebuild. If your idea of getting better is going back to Sweden and playing on the bigger ice surface, then you're an idiot. Because when you come back to the NHL, it's going to be completely different. You couldn't adjust the first time. What makes you think you can adjust the second time now? Look at Vitaly Kravtsov, Rangers high draft pick from two seasons ago. He went over to Russia after he got cut from the Wolfpack. He went to Russia and he didn't like it. He came back. He's not doing too bad in Hartford. He's adjusting to the ice surface. I expect him to be a blue shirt. If they want to bring him up at the end of this season, if the Rangers aren't in a playoff run, then they'll bring him up. But if they are in a playoff run, then next season Vitaly Kravtsov is going to be in a much better situation than Leas Anderson because he's been practicing and skating every day on that North American ice. Well, that's my take on the situation. What do you think is going to happen with Leas Anderson? Is he going to get traded, packaged? Is he going to stay, possibly playing the Rangers and Wolfpack? I don't know right now. But let me guys know. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more. And I'll see you guys later.